Hey, what's up, Duff here? Hey, putting the helmet on, even though it's not, uh, it's, it's much less uncomfortable than it was. I do still have my stitches in my head, but um, they come out tomorrow. And uh, it's, it's healed up sufficiently that it's not very painful to do this anymore. So that's a great thing, right? How you doing? Happy Thursday evening. I am going out on the uh, InMotion V13 that has been provided to me for testing by E-Wheels. Thank you, Jason. Much appreciated. And um, just gonna take a quick ride and just I wanna talk about five things that I really like about this wheel. Just hit the enter key. So, so easy to go fast on this wheel. So this isn't one of my five things I was gonna mention, but I just, I did want to make note that uh, on my initial ride, I had the shock pumped up to about 200 PSI. For my, my personal taste, I like the shocks lower PSI wise. I now have them uh, about 150 to 160 PSI, which according to the chart that is on the wheel is about what it should be for my body weight. So um, at least for the way I like, I appreciate more, more give. Now, if you're doing like uh, maybe some severe trail riding, bigger drops, you might want to higher uh, pressure in your shocks. But for me, 150, 160 PSI is, is uh, pretty good with a riding weight of, uh, I don't know, maybe low 180s, 185, something like that. All right, so like I said, I mentioned there's going to be going over five things that have impressed me so far on this wheel. Not in any particular order. And in some, in some, in some cases, it may be like, uh, you know, a, a, a 1A and 1B because they're similar. So uh, let's get started. Number one, the engineering on this wheel feels top notch. Um, like I mentioned, I have I had this wheel apart a couple times, dropped the motor, and just I mean, you compare it to some of you know specifically, you know, not to pick on Bagode, but I mean if you put an emotion wheel next to a Bagode wheel. Uh, open it up. I mean, just uh, the, the attention to detail, the cable routing, the it just it just seems like night and day. It really, really does. The quality of the emotion wheel is something that you just you just you just have to admire. It's a well-built wheel. Uh, not only is there just an attention to detail with the physical aspects of it, but the you know the electrical propulsion aspects of it. You know the dual hall sensors. Uh, all of the monitoring capabilities that are built into the wheel, there's just so much to like from an engineering uh, and quality perspective. Number two, the display. Now, of course, you know, this is basically the same display that was in the V12, but I love this display. I love that it's forward, that you can see it uh, easily. Some displays you have to kind of bend down and, and look backwards like the S22. It's, it's, it's not exactly at a convenient spot. The display on this is great. You can b configure lots of things that would normally require you to use a app. So I think that's a great feature. I'm a big fan of the display on the V13 and the V12. I want to circle back to number one, and this will be like 1A, 1B, because they're all kind of connected. Talking about the engineering, um, not only does it take effect when you open up the, the, the wheel and you, and you see it, but the durability of the wheel because of that engineering. Like for example, that, that uh, guy that cut out at 80 kilometers an hour, uh, his wheel from all, <laughs> all pictures I saw, it, 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 it survived that speed crash pretty damn good. Uh, from taking this apart, they're just, I mean, the, the bumpers that are on this are made out of a material that's extremely durable. Not only uh, is the material durable, but they're backed up by rubber. There's, uh, there's little rubber bumpers that are behind these crash bars, so it helps to absorb more, more energy. Very, very smart engineering. Uh, no one else uh, is doing that that I've seen. I'm sure other people will, but I thought that was a great thing. And also, like I mentioned earlier, taking the wheel apart, the engineering, they, they put thought into uh, making it not horribly difficult to drop the motor if you have to change a tire or do something like that. So, yeah. So engineering, one, 1A, 1B. The wheel is well engineered. Number three. Another thing I love about this wheel is the dimensions of it. Um, it's a big wheel, it's a heavy wheel, um, but it's also a relatively thin wheel 
which is kind of nice. Uh, with me being a taller person, it fits my body well. Um, unlike some of the smaller wheels or the really fat wheels. You know, I'm not a real big fan of fat wheels. So the dimensions of this wheel are great. A 22 inch tire, very tall sides. It is a good size wheel for a larger individual. When I first got it, I kind of, uh, when I first got the wheel, I, I said that, um, you know, it felt like kind of hard to maneuver because of its size. It's gotten better. It's gotten better with, uh, with uh, more time on it, which is always the case. Any wheel feels strange at first, so. Once you get accustomed to it, it will feel uh, pretty darn good to you. Number four, the light. I did a short video on this the other day, just talking about how this light is amazing. If you are someone that rides at night on a regular basis on poorly lit streets, this light is a godsend for you. Of course, you can always get third party lights, but as far as a built-in light on an EUC, this is the best one that I've ever seen. The light is fantastic. Number five. And there's two parts to this. This is like a 5A and B. Probably my most favorite thing about the V13 is the speed. And not only the speed, but the stability at speed. That's, that's the difference. Because it's such a big wheel, because it's 22 inches, because it's heavy, because it has a high profile, this wheel feels incredibly stable at speed. I remember the, my first ride to Dunkin' Donuts, I could not believe that without trying, I was going uh, almost mid 40s app speed without trying and not even realizing it because this wheel feels so stable. Now, in addition to the way it feels, I mean, you also know that you have, uh, you know, a large overhead to protect you, to keep you in a safe area as far as, um, speed goes you could be running at the top speed of this wheel and still have uh, plenty of overhead to keep you safe as long as you don't lean like a maniac uh, at top speeds but um yeah it's um it is probably the most comfortable i felt at speed on any wheel ever sunsets sure are pretty down here in florida aren't they nice thing with where i'm going to be moving to i can uh, go to the beach and watch sunsets pretty darn easily so this weekend, guys, today is Thursday, if I didn't mention that earlier. This weekend is probably gonna be the last weekend that I have time available to dedicate to do more testing on this. Uh, because after this, I'm gonna be closing on my new house. I'm gonna have lots of packing and moving and uh, various things to do, as you can imagine. So I wanna uh, try to get some stuff in this weekend. I'm gonna probably try to uh, do a full range test and take it to the swamp. Those are, those are the two things that I would like to get done with the V13. Uh, while I still have it. So that is my agenda. Let's see if I'm able to fulfill it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up. That's my five things that I like the most about the InMotion V13 so far. You know, maybe by, uh, maybe by the time I'm done with it, I might like some more things. I'm sure there's, uh, you know, I can come up with a list of some things that I don't like so much, but um, so far there's a lot more like than dislike, that's for sure. So if you guys found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing if you're gonna, yeah, if you're gonna subscribe. Uh, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. My eyes are watering. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Uh, those of you that are already have V13s, uh, well, what are your favorite things? I'm curious. Let me know below. Um, big thanks to my channel members. Uh, without them, um, I don't know, I'd be sad. I, I love my channel members. And a big thanks once again to eWheels and Jason at eWheels for allowing me to test this V13. It's been fun. So that's all I have for now. Like I said, look for some stuff this weekend. Probably my, my, the last of my V13 content will probably be this weekend. So tune in for that. Hope you have a great weekend coming up. And until next time, duck me out. Hi, baby. You coming out? Hi. Hi. Elsa's been much more excited to see me lately. What do I smell like? Do I smell like speed? Do I smell like a V13? What is it? What do you smell? 
or do I just smell old? Thank you.